head throughout the day today as we get into your first alert forecast though we are going to continue to track that rain as well getting a break hopefully kind of a little bit this morning but still could see some of those showers pushing in especially into the valley right between that seven eight o'clock time frame it is definitely a messy morning commute with that rain moving in overnight it really has had nowhere to go kind of sticking on those roadways so be careful as you're stepping out the door taking the kids to school headed to work more badges of rain especially midday about an 80 percent coverage here and some of those pockets of heavy rain we're going to continue to watch the rain slowly push out of here as we head into the afternoon and evening hours a little bit more scattered with again still some isolated pockets of heavy rain but check out a little bit later this evening five six o'clock starting to see that rain pushing a little bit more towards um, the southern valley to parts of the mountains as well and then we're going to finally get somewhat of a break as we head into tonight getting onto a few of those spotty showers there by thursday morning but Finally drying out a little bit before we add more rounds of rain a little bit later Thursday into your Friday. So as we head throughout the rest of the day today, still getting up to about half an inch to an inch of rain, getting closer to about well, almost half an inch there in Maryville to Townsend to Chilhowee. A little bit more than half an inch down towards Teleco Plains and Athens. Towards the plateau in southeastern Kentucky, likely getting a little bit more of that heavier rain today. So about an inch, isolated inch and a half. That's where some of those purple streaks are popping up there. You can see up into southeastern Kentucky, about close to an inch and a half there. Williamsburg to an inch in Barberville, close to an inch in Powell Valley as well. Could get up to an inch there. Mohawk, about half an inch there in Rogersville. Almost an inch Morristown to Rutledge. A little bit more than an inch potentially in Blaine today. So as you're stepping out the door, definitely need that rain gear once again. Temperatures warming up to about those mid 50s by the time you're waking up and kind of stepping out the door this morning. And we're going to continue to see some of that fog as well that could create a messy commute as well. Warming up to about the lower 60s. Temperatures kind of hard to move today, especially with that rain kind of staying over us as well. So 62 by 3 to 61 by 7 o'clock. But you'll notice getting most of that coverage midday before we start to become more scattered as we head throughout the rest of the day today. Looking at your first alert future cast though as we head into your Thursday. We're going to continue to see that break from the rain. Looks like majority of it stays a little bit north of us, but then we're going to start to get more batches of it by the time we get into those afternoon hours. This front finally starting to push through our region really late as we head into your Thursday evening and especially overnight Thursday early as we head into Friday. So it's pretty scattered, becoming more widespread by the time we get into your Friday morning, bringing in that heavy rain once again. So we'll go from those scattered rain chances, more spotty there by Friday afternoon, hanging on to about the low to mid 60s this weekend. Could tra track a little bit more rain, especially Saturday night into Sunday, watching that next cold front to move in by next Wednesday.